Hello everyone and welcome to this new video with me and TWS. Today I am going to show you something that I don't think I have showed off before. And if so, then it wasn't recently, so it has been a while, I think. Um, on a new modded route, which will also be included in the release package. Same as the train I'm driving today, it's also a mod. And yeah. The game is already running in the background, it's just paused right now, so I'd say let's resume it. I'll get this train set up and tell you everything else whilst we are on the way or waiting for whatever. Resume. Driver's cab activated. This is Bank. This train terminates here. All change. When leaving the train, please remember to take all your belongings with you. Lights activated. Forward. Urgent call. Accept. Register. GSMI dialog. Head code read only text field. 8Q68. Signal number read only text field. 4354. Code text field. 7. 7. 8. Capital Q. 6. 8. 3. 4. Inform. Register button. Registration successful. Good. The train's set up. <clears throat> Except for the brakes, which I'll leave applied until we can depart. Um, as people who live in London might have already guessed, yes, we are traveling on the DLR today, or Docklands Side Railway, as its mother calls it. More on that later. Anyway, we'll be taking a B2K stock train built in the early 2000s from bank you know, somewhere in the direction of Lewisham. Let's see how far we managed to go. We'll probably get to Lewisham anyway. <laughs> I mean, I know myself, so yeah, yeah, we'll probably get to Lewisham in the end. And it's also a relatively short trip with only some 25 minutes or so. So yeah, you know, should be doable. Seven fifty nine forty six eight zero zero. Brakes released. Yeah, release the brakes. We can depart in a few seconds. Automatic train control activated. And yes, the DLR is operated automatically. So yeah, I just activated the ATO, the automatic train operation. Eight zero nine. Doors closed. Close the doors and then bank tunnel. The train will do its thing. Yeah, miles per hour, obviously. I mean, the speed limit is fifty miles ah. per hour. <laughs> speed limit changed to twenty-five miles per hour in nineteen sixty-nine yards ahead. The next station will be Shadwell, if I remember correctly. Not sure, but. Yeah, yeah, it should be sad, well. <laughs> Speed limit changed to 25 miles per hour in 1750 yards ahead. Yeah, I know, but I don't care. The train will slow down by itself anyway. Speed so, limit changed to 25 miles. The DLR. The DLR nowadays is way more than a simple line. It's it's a network. Speed limit changed with I think something around 50 stations. Oh damn, I should have watched Jago's video on the DLR once again. Speed limit change. <sighs> no matter. We'll manage somehow. Anyway, it's something around 50 stations. Quite a few kilometers of track. Many branches. Speed limit I'm change. serious. This thing has such an insane amount of branches that it's really hard to keep track of all of them. If you don't take my word for it, then yeah, just look up the Wikipedia article and you can see it for yourself doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> um, yeah, there are two termini in the city, Tower Gateway Speed and Bank. To miles per a, a few yards back, the line from Tower Gateway actually joined us when we traveled out of the tunnel Speed onto the viaduct. So yeah, now it's slowing down for the 25 mile per hour speed limit. 
a bit early for safety reasons. Yeah. Anyway, the DLR was opened in the 1980s. I think the something around 1987. Miles. The first line, which ran from Tower Gateway to, or was it Beckton? Shadow Tunnel. No, nah, no, it wasn't back then. It was Island Gardens. It was. It included the section that we are on currently, actually. But the old Island Garden station, obviously, not the new one. So yeah, more on that when we are there. Yeah, you can change here to the newly christened Windrush Line. And yes, automatic train control activated. TFL have finally gotten around to actually naming their overground lines so that you can actually differentiate them. Eight, three, five, eight, two, zero. Oh, we are late. Damn. Yeah, let's go. Anyway, so the, the former East London line, of which at least one section has, be, has been known as East London Line since the 1870s. Talking about the section between the former Shoreditch Station at New Cross slash New Cross Gate, obviously. Um, yeah, anyway, it has been renamed to the Windrush Line. I mean, it's one of the better names, in my opinion, but yeah. Speed limit changed to 25 miles per hour in 15.31 yards ahead. Others have also been renamed. I can recommend the video done by Jago Hazard on the new names Speed of the London Overground. It's, it's very entertaining and actually very interesting. This train is for Especially since this guy knows Speed an insane amount of facts about the London Underground, Overground, DLR and everything in between. So yeah. His videos are great. This is Limehouse. Yeah, brakes release. Limehouse. Automatic train control activated. Eight four thirty six eight four zero zero two hundred and ninety one. Doors closed. We are now traveling over the old alignment of the London Blackwall Railway, which was the first passenger carrying railway in London, the first commuter railway, kind of. It ran from the former terminus at Minories, which was where Tower Gateway now sits. Yeah, basically along the same route that we are traveling on now to their Blackwall Station. I don't know what that one's called today. Speed limit change it's to not Blackwall. <laughs> Today's Blackwall Station somewhere else. Yeah, don't ask. Just, just don't ask. <laughs> Speed limit change to 25 miles per hour in 219 yards ahead. Yeah, West Ferry. Yeah, the trains from Tower Gateway divert here towards Specton, same as trains to London City Airport. Brakes released. Automatic train control activated. And yes, that's really an airport. That's not just the name. Eight five fifty three eight six zero. This station here is great if you want to interchange from one train to another, since you can just remain on the same platform. There are two platforms, one for city bound and one for outbound trains. The speed limit is 25 miles per hour. Every train stops on the same platform. So, you know, pretty great. For example, if you're coming along from Lewisham the then, and you want to go to Tower Gateway, then you just exit the train, wait for a few minutes, and the next train, or the one after that, will take you to Tower speed Gateway. To 25 miles per hour and 437 yards ahead. Since, yes, Tower Gateway services only travel to and from Beckton. Speed limit change yeah. to 25 miles per hour in 219 yards ahead. Why did we accelerate again? I have no idea. <laughs> I think Canary Wharf is the next one, but I'm not sure. 137 yards ahead, Canary Wharf. Yeah. It is, because here's kind of a triangle. Since the trains that diverted at West Ferry 
also travel to Popla and then to the further destinations, and trains coming to Canary Wall from Lewisham, so in the opposite direction, also divert, travel to Popla, and then wherever else they want to go. So, yeah. Pretty confusing, actually. Kind of. <laughs> we'll not travel Automatic to Poplar today. Eight, seven, eight, eight, zero, zero, yeah, and here we have to wait for a bit. Yeah. Nowadays you can interchange here with the Elizabeth line from Shenfield and Abbey Woods to Heathrow Airport or Reading, depending on the train. Yeah, it's uh, the newest old railway in London because it's running along it's some close. very old alignments indeed. I mean, it runs along the Great Western Main Line, which was opened in the late 1830s. And the Great, Great Eastern Main Line is not that much younger, so, you know. This train is for Lewisham. The next stop is Heron Keys. Yeah. This station is just. Yeah. We don't talk about it, but Next released. Automatic train control activated. seriously, why would you put one station literally 250 yards next to another? I mean, yeah, okay, historic things and such, but still. Eight, eight, forty-seven, eight, nine, zero. But they do need them. Both of the stations are sometimes at or even over capacity, so, you know, makes sense, kind of. The speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Yeah, nice. Next station is... Yards ahead. South Key. South Key. Yeah, still running along the original DLR line. We'll follow that one until shortly before Island Gardens. This is South Key. Brakes released. Automatic train control activated. Eight, nine, fifty-five, eight, eleven, zero, fifty-seven. Yeah, nowadays the DLR operates completely automatically. There's always a person on board, a member of staff, but this person's responsibilities are only to basically be there if a passenger needs something or if an emergency happens. So technically the trains are certainly able to drive automatically. The same as here, I mean, I still have to control the doors and tell it to go wherever it wants to go, but yeah, you know, the idea, similar. <laughs> 554 yards ahead, Crossaba. Crossaba, the next one, which neither my TTS voice nor the robot lady speaking on the LR trains can actually pronounce. As you will hear soon. Let's go. Yeah, that ding ding noise was the signal that I have to depart now. We are running over viaducts right now, actually. Yeah, the route runs on a viaduct for most of its length. Oh, she can actually pronounce it, kind of. This is Cross Harbor. Brakes released. Automatic train control activated. Four hundred and thirty-four yards ahead. Mudshoot. Mudshoot. One of the stations with one of the worst names, kind of, 
but it's quite, lit quite literal. There was a mud chute nearby. Mm, I think you can't see anything of it nowadays, but yeah, there certainly was one. So, you know, I think they also wanted to call this one Island Gardens, but they didn't for some reason. Confusing. Not as bad as the embankment Charing Cross situation, but yeah, confusing. <laughs> 8, 12, 36, 8, 13, 0. Yeah, okay, 20 seconds. 0, 199, 199. Okay, almost 200 people on board. Are they sure they want to travel with me? I don't know. Don't think so for some reason. You probably don't know that I'm sitting in front. <laughs> doors closed. Close the doors. Let's go. Much shoot. Brakes released. Automatic train control activated. 8, 13, 49, 8, 15, 0, 25, 5, 401 yards ahead, Island Gardens. Yeah, the next station's Island Gardens, so in 200 yards, something like that, we'll enter the Thames Tunnel that has been built in, I think, the early 2000s when they closed the original Island Garden station and extended the line all the way across the Thames to Lewisham Station via Greenwich and Cutisark. Oh, the other way around. Cutisark, Greenwich, Deptford Bridge, Elverson Road and Lewisham. So, yeah, you know, they also built a new Island Garden station in the Thames Tunnel, which is the one we're going to call it today. I don't think there's much left of the old one. Could be wrong though. But no, I don't think there's much left. Maybe a gate or station hall. Eight, 14, 51, something. Eight, 15, zero. Doors closed. Thames Tunnel. Yeah, we are now in the Thames Tunnel on the new track alignment. This track has actually been built specifically for the DLR, which is kind of rare if you think about it, since the DLR reuses a lot of, like, seriously ancient rail alignments. Brakes released. Automatic train control activated. Remember the London Blackwall from 1848, I think? Yeah. As old as that one. <laughs> or a part of the North London line near Stratford, which was built in the mid 1800s, also. Yeah, so. You know, close. <laughs> old tracks, really old tracks. Five, 10, 15, I mean, the tracks have obviously been upgraded, but yeah, still. The alignment has been the same for almost 170 years at some points, or almost 180 years in others. So, you know, <laughs> we're now under the Thames. The next station should be Katisark. 334 yards ahead, Katisark. Yeah. Named after a tea clipper, which you can visit. Yeah, the National Maritime Museum. Brakes released. Automatic train control activated. Here's also a very interesting one, actually. 
So, yeah, I can certainly recommend it. 8, 17, 13, 8, 18, 0. And we have to wait again. <laughs> so the next station is Greenwich. We'll be leaving the tunnel shortly before that one. And then we'll continue on either street level or a viaduct, depending on where exactly we are. But we won't enter another tunnel. At Greenwich, we'll also meet southeastern trains, so national rail services, and Thameslink trains, which travel along their loop schedule from Cannon Street to Cannon Street via Greenwich and Lewisham. I think the line's actually called Greenwich Line or Greenwich Main Line. 8, 18, 3, 8, 18, 0. Doors closed. And at Lewisham, we're going to meet the Hayes line and the Southeastern Main Line. Though the latter one doesn't call there exactly, the trains use the Hayes line to divert to call it Lewisham and then come back onto the Southeastern Main Line. Speed limit changed to 25 miles per hour in 2187 yards ahead. And the Mid Kent line also runs there. Towards speed limit change to 25 miles per hour in 1969 yards ahead. Yeah, and local buses, obviously. <laughs> Brakes released. Automatic train control activated. 8, 19, 0. 8, 20, 0. 48. Yeah, so now we only have a few minutes left. Depth of the bridge with no real interchanges, Elverson Road with selective door opening and Lewisham as our terminus. So yeah, the route is almost done now. <laughs> A rather short video today, but still probably something around 25 to 30 minutes in the end, I'm not sure, but yeah, I guess something like that. Three miles per hour. Three miles per hour. Zero miles oh, per hour. I don't hour. need that today. Three miles per hour. Zero miles per hour. I mean, I could also drive the train manually, but no, no. Let the computer do it. Doors closed. Depth of bridge in seven hundred yards. Speed limit changed to 25 miles per hour in 1750 yards ahead. Yeah, that's the speed restriction to enter Lewisham Station since there are buffer stops DLR viaduct. at the end of the platforms of Lewisham. Speed limit changed to 25 miles per hour in 50. So, yeah, you obviously have to be careful when entering them in order not to run into the buffer stops because that would kind of hurt. Speed limit changed. And I mean, everyone <laughs> you, the train, the buffer stops. The people on the platform so you know just don't do it speed limit change to 25 miles per hour in 1094 yards ahead this is Deptford bridge please brakes released automatic train control activated one doors closed Next station, Elverson Road. Yeah, thanks for joining me today. I really enjoyed this video, actually. I mean, I personally quite like the DLR. I traveled a lot on this exact route, actually, when I visited London. Speed limit changed to 25 miles per hour. Well, half to back, to something like that. So, yeah, I know it pretty well, in, fa in fact. And, yeah, I quite like it. Speed limit changed to 25 miles per hour in 656 uh, yards ahead. An odd little railway, kind of. The little, not that well known brother or sister of the Speed London limit Underground. Speed changed to 25 miles per hour in 437 yards ahead. Which isn't fair, since the DLR is interesting, as we've probably realized by now. <laughs> Elvison Road. This is 
This is Elverson Road. Yeah. Brakes anyway, tight. automatic train control activated. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, or leave a comment. And I'll now be silent for the last station towards Lewisham. 17. 253. 261. 8. 22. 28. 8. 23. 0. Okay, we have to wait. Still have to wait. Eight twenty two fifty six. Yeah, okay. Now we can close the doors. Doors closed. And now I'll be silent. Speed limit changed to 25 miles per hour in 219 yards ahead. 29. The speed limit is 25 miles per hour. This is Lewisham. This train terminates here. All change.